Welcome to another video of Quality Reptiles and today I'm gonna talk about uh, my take you enclosures, uh, how I came up with uh, the concept of this uh, enclosures. Um, in my last breeding facility I knew that I wouldn't stay long there and I was building a lot of new enclosures so I decided to use uh, pallet boxes uh, merge them together, so two pallet boxes together to make uh, one big uh, enclosure and these pallet boxes are very lightweighted because uh, they are made out of PVC um, and uh, on the top I have a wooden cove with all the lightning and uh, all the heating bulbs. Um, like you can see here behind me, this is Bear, and he's in a pallet box enclosure that is uh, two meters deep and uh, one meter and 20 centimeters wide and one meter high. Behind me you see Bear, and Bear is eating out of his uh, football holder made out of uh, metal mortal and stones. Uh, it's very heavy, so he cannot throw over the footballs. And um, there's uh, a, a water ball and a football in it. Um, so under the footballs, I put two uh, tiles, so the footballs are a little bit more higher. And then I put the uh, metal mortar around it and put some stones in it uh, to give it a natural look. Uh, then I did uh, put a layer of uh, epoxy over it so it will last really long and it will not uh, get destroyed. What is very important is that you put it straight on, uh, on the floor and uh, not on the substrate because when they dig under the substrate the football can, uh, can uh, crush them uh, because it's very heavy. So always make sure that it is straight on the floor and put the soil around and that's why I make the football so high uh, so that there's still uh, some space for um, the substrate. Like you can see in this enclosure I have one uh, UV light, it's a solar after 70 watt and in the back I have two uh, ceramic heaters. Um, and here up front you can see I have a thermostat um, and the thermostat will regulate the uh, ceramic heaters. Uh, what is very um, important if you have a home with a normal temperature here in my breeding facility it's always 28 degrees uh, so or, or at least above 25 degrees so I do not use uh, the ceramic heaters anymore here but if you have them in your home it's really important to heat with some extra ceramic heat. I also have these really cool windows that open like this and I uh, did this because I noticed when you work with so many take use uh, it's, um, it, it, it's very uh, risky uh, especially when the females are pregnant they are very aggressive and if you have those slide doors uh, and you have to take them out to clean them uh, there's a big risk that they bite your fingers uh, so uh, I decided to have windows that go open like this and then I can stand here and clean the window without being at risk that they attack me uh, also, this is way easier to clean them because you always have to go with the sliding doors. You have to go with your hands inside the enclosure or you have to take the windows out. And this way it's so much easier that I clean my windows every day. And when I only had the slide doors, I skipped sometimes some days because it was too much work. Uh, but I really hate it when windows are super dirty. So. Now I can clean them every day and it's hardly any work. So 
this is also one of the pellet box enclosures. This is not for Tegus, but for caiman lizards and sylvan dragons. And it's also made out of two pellet boxes uh, merged together. One is for water and the other one is for sand. Like you can see, I uh, made a bigger wooden cove for this one. Uh, so the uh, animals could also climb and sit way up higher because they just don't need that but the caiman lizard and the sylphin dragons, dragons really need to climb and uh, this way they also have a very very big pool to swim in and uh, yeah it's another way of uh, making a very easy movable enclosure and uh, the PVC makes sure that it doesn't rot because that was a really big problem in my old facilities that all the wooden enclosures would rot away on the floor because after two years or something the, and when the soil was on the floor you noticed that there were all parts rotting away and then I had to use epoxy to fix it all it was a lot of work and so I decided that when I had my new facility I needed plastic uh, floors because uh, I didn't want that work anymore and it's very stressful you're missing enclosures that you need for your animals so uh, this time I decided to make everything from PVC or stone and now it at my last facility and I'm not uh, planning on moving anymore so I also have the stone enclosures uh, like the ones for the uh, uh, crop monitors and I'm also working on the black dragon enclosures now with stones and uh, epoxy and everything uh, so they will last many many years um, I didn't choose for uh, PVC uh, enclosures because it's cheap because it's really not cheap but I knew that it will last so long that I would uh, save a lot of money uh, not having to make new enclosures so that's the reason behind it a little bit thank you for watching this video let me know in the comments what you think about uh, this video and uh, if you have any ideas for new videos in the future um, also uh, please like and subscribe uh, to help me uh, keep doing uh, this all and uh, making more videos thank you